Hi lovelies, so this look is one of my absolute favourites. It's what I like to call my Rita Hayworth Gilda fun hair. <laughs> this look basically says that, you know what, I'm a vintage girl but I'm a girl who's too busy having too much fun to worry about my perfect waves. Oh no. This is just a big head of fun curls, and you can do so much with it afterwards once it's like this, which again I'm sure in another video and whatnot. But for now, here's the basic rolling technique to this excellent, fun, fluffy do. And you can just put it in rollers, you don't need to worry about pin curls, any of that. I hope you have great fun doing this look and also wearing this look. Send me photos if you do it, because I'm dying to see. I would love to see that. Please send me that. Also, again, if there are any other looks of mine that you really like and want to see how they're done, just let me know. More dancing, because clearly I am always dancing. Oh, look, long hair. I miss my long hair. All right, let's turn this very straight hair into some gorgeous, bouncy Rita Hayworth curls. We're going to be using large blue rollers and slightly smaller pink ones. First things first, make sure you have a lovely, straight, clean side parting. Our first roller at the front is the largest, and we're going to be lightly dipping them into a bowl of water. Roll your hair over the top and backwards away from your face. We're going to take the rollers straight over the top and all of our side rollers will also be upright. Curl away from the front of the face and again towards the back. This pattern is similar to the style I used in my casual pin-up look. We're going to be using the pink rollers from now on and wow is my hair long! and then my wife wants to borrow my hairbrush. She actually doesn't have her own because she only brushes it once a week when wet. Ah, oh, if only I could do that. tucking in those ends, although, spoiler, we're going for bouncy fun curls, so really don't panic too much. Close up! In order to avoid dents in your hair, keep the plastic clips as close to your hairline as possible. Rita Hayworth, of course, classically made her hair waves with pink curls, and she was actually Latina with naturally curly hair, but Columbia Pictures decided to change her ethnicity, but that's a whole different video. I find pin curls aren't as user-friendly sponge rollers, they're fiddly, can be difficult to accurately copy, and they don't always dry properly. left, split in half and curl towards the centre.
sections of hair aren't that regulated, because we're not going for waves or perfect steps of hair, but instead wild curls at the bottom. Oh yeah, rollers, so cute. uncurl your hair into ringlets. Grab your paddle brush, I'll leave a link to mine in the description, and brush brush brush. Brush out your fringe, whoop, and flop it in your face. If your hair is strong enough to hold itself up at the front, then you don't need to backcomb. But if it's a smoothly textured one like mine and flops, then please backcomb away. Beautiful bouncing curls. Grab your pomade or wax of your choice we're only going to be using very little. You only need a little bit. And don't forget the hairspray. Here it is, big, beautiful, soft, bouncing Rita Hayworth curls. And here's the classic Gilda moment. Let me know what you think in the comments and help me out by giving this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Check out the other videos on my channel, lots of puppies, wifely cuteness and disability pride. And subscribe for more vintage looks.